Is healing directly connected to Christ's atonement? So now let's look at the central part of Christianity. The atonement of Christ. Christ on the cross. The sacrifice of Christ. Is healing connected to that? If healing is connected to that, then that's a big deal, right? Here's my answer. Yes. When Jesus laid down his life on the cross, he dealt with sin completely. Amen? He paid the penalty of our sin. The key word there is penalty. He paid the penalty of our sin, which is death and hell. And he bore the effects. Key word, effects. He bore the effects of our sin, which are guilt and shame and separation and sickness. We can be forgiven because Jesus paid sin's penalty on the cross. And we can be delivered, restored, and healed because Jesus bore sin's effects. We usually, oftentimes, if we're not careful, we'll only look at the cross and think of penalty. But the Bible tells us not to do that. We'll see it here in a second. The Bible says not, not look at the cross and see the penalty, but look at the cross and see the river flowing out of the cross as every single blessing to counteract every single effect. Penalty of sin, but also the effects of sin are seen. Jesus dealing with them, bearing them, paying them on the cross. So let's look at one of the most famous verses about Jesus on the cross. It's uh, in the book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter number 53. You all know this. If you've been in church for several years, then you know these verses. If you don't know, if you've never turned in your Bible to Isaiah 53, then I want to encourage you tonight or tomorrow to open up, find a Bible, open up to Isaiah 53, and just spend some time there. It's one of the most wonderful passages in all the Scripture, and it will bless you greatly. Surely, He has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, Yet we esteemed him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. But he was pierced, hands on the cross. He was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. Upon him was the chastisement that brought us peace. And with his wounds, with his wounds we are healed. Now, it's very easy to look at that passage and think only of the penalty of sin and of spiritual healing and because it's talking about sin and iniquities, it's very easy to look at that and just think, it's talking about the forgiveness that we get because of the cross. And it is. But Matthew, one of the 12 apostles, when he was watching Jesus healing the sick, he had a light bulb moment from the Holy Spirit. And he understood in, a, in an instant that Isaiah 53, those wounds, that healing is not just our spiritual wounds, it's our physical wounds. Because of what Jesus is doing on the cross, not only can we have our sins forgiven, but we can also be healed because he's completely dealing with sin, both the effects and uh, the cause and the penalty. So look at the light bulb moment. Matthew chapter number 8. That evening, Matthew records, they brought to Jesus many who were oppressed by demons and he cast out spirits, cast out the spirits with a word and healed all who were sick. And he goes, this was to fulfill what was spoken of by the prophet Isaiah in Isaiah 53. He took our illnesses and bore our diseases. So Matthew was led to understand from the Holy Spirit that when Jesus was healing people, that that was also a connection to Isaiah 53. He was taking our illnesses and bearing our diseases. Let me uh, read for you this quote by a theologian that Pastor Ken and I love. His name is Sam Storms. Here's what he says about this passage. The redemptive suffering of Jesus at Calvary is the foundation and source of every blessing, whether spiritual or physical. The atoning death of Jesus is the basis for God healing you. Everything we receive from God finds its ultimate source in what Christ did for us on the cross. That is how the, that is how the ministry of healing, and healing even today, is connected to Christ's atonement. Because out of that atonement flows every single blessing, including that of physical healing.